So it's my job to dig up my own minerals so I can sell them for a quick buck. That way I've got coins so I can buy drills, shovels, anvils, everything I need until I can buy a volcano. But for right now, well now this does look promising. Albeit, that does look terrifying. Take me ship, get me away from this old island. I want the new adventure that awaits. Oh, everything's all frozen over and icy. Hello, anyone? Oh, hello, tiny king guy. Oh, what? I'm stuck. I'm still active in the cutscene. Blah, 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 words, words, words. I'm gonna Goomba stomp your king. Oh, my first mission already? 200 hydro coins. Looks like I've been tasked with something important. Is this my vehicle for free? Sweet. Oh, dude, there's so many new areas. I'm up here at the harbor and I need to get to New Glade. This is called a lava truck and that is definitely lava in the tank. Okay, is that what I get to do? This new update lets me play with lava? What is this? I got a sword in the stone mark here. It's an unrefined forge mark, which looks like I'll be able to use it to upgrade things later okay that's gonna be sick hello miss take this thing thanks for the 200 coins i see that i'm also conveniently next to a mine how much does it take to buy this oh none do i already own this give me my pail give me my shovel touch poke um do i dip this in lava oh i do does this hurt by chance oh, i just like boing across it oh it looks like you also have a package for me i'm getting even more hydro coins for delivering this though i'll follow this fetch quest as long as it goes because then i'm just going to be able to buy things for my mine immediately oh i don't really trust bridges but i guess i just kind of got to go across this one wait is this a force field am i going to be able to oh okay i'm safe hey buddy you the mayor got a box for you oh it's gonna be like a dinosaur museum in here sick if i get this guy one bone he'll give me a hundred whatever coins i'll take it thanks for the money idiot i spot a shop right over here what is this lava pipes an ice melter hardstone refiner there's so many new things right now though pick up a furnace pick up a crucible and then give me a grinding wheel that should do it. I've already got a shovel and a bucket back at the mine. Do you want something else? Oh, you also have a box. 300? Yep, I want this. And what is this shop up here? Jeweler construction crate? You can make stores? Oh, you can make tier two and tier three stores, huh? And here's the lava drill and harvester. What, you need 750 bucks for both of these? And there's a task board. Could be handy. To Burville we go. Why don't you just drive over the lava? Can I, whoa there. You look shiny. Give me. I just instantly found a dinosaur fossil. Yeah, let's run this back in. Here you go, buddy. Take a bone. Is it what? I guess this wasn't the one he wanted. I drop it in there. Oh, huh, yeah, look at that. One down, however many to go. Does that mean I can also officially call myself a paleontologist? No. Nope. I'm now a miner and a paleontologist. That's miner with an E, by the way. Hang on. I see more stuff shining over here. Give me. Frederick, my good man. Here's a box. What do we sell here? Oh, this is where we can get conveyor plates and frost pipes. Are different mines going to be capable of doing different things? This is a gross display of wealth. Thank you for your money, Frederick. Oh, another shiny dude how many bones are in this dang fossil the answer is at least three more found like its arm what is this thing i need 9800 hardstone blocks 400 cladium bars to repair whatever this is and i found another bone dude you're gonna need to make a factory to get all of this stuff what's that big machine up there and yet another bone here you go alice take your box do you have anything for purchase over here? Looks like the Shattered Outpost also has conveyor hooks and housing bits. Oh, this is where all the logic is. I haven't used that once in my life. Not gonna use it now. Oh, you don't have an extra box? Oh, I think I'm done. I've got a thousand bucks. It's time to go on a shopping spree. Right after I stop and not only collect another bone, but even another one after that. All right, drop off that stuff, ready for my mining adventure. Hopefully I have enough to come back and immediately buy a drill and get all that set up. No, no, little buddy, I saw you. This looks somewhat like the bone you want, right? No? So you want me to like finish making the whole thing? Done great progress on the ribs. Hey, yeah, you can practically see the outline of it now. And right, my good man, lava harvester, lava drill purchased. That was 750 bucks of my hard earned money. Now I'll need an intake pipe, normal pipe, most definitely a T pipe and an elbow pipe. This should probably be enough, right? All pipes go in. We've got work to do, or at least 
my drills do. I plan to kick back and maybe drink the lava when I get bored. All right, buddy, let's get you hooked up in there. You're dripping lava now. All right, one more lava pipe in there in this system. Should work. I hear the harvester running. My drill would be running, but there's no dirt underneath it for right now. That's why it's time for the old dirt on concrete block trick. Oh, there we go. Gold ore shot out, iron ore shot out, profits will be made. Is this oh, a little snowball? How fun is that? Oh, whoa. I just got hard stone. And again? How rare is that going to be? Answer? Doesn't look that rare. All right, let's take what we got. Currently, our main hub town just doesn't have a jeweler. So if I want to sell all my goods, which I do because A, I don't want to be poor and B, I want my upgrades. I got to drive back to the little starting zone, which also has a shop. All right, one gold ore, 12 coins, one hard stone ore, two. How about the regular iron? Four. How about it all, buddy? 189. That's not bad for just the very, like, highest amount of elevation on a drill. Oh, cool. I got a little emerald. All right, I'll just leave this sitting here for a second. I want to go climb the volcano. Oh, evil lava deity, please spare me your wrath. Or whatever you say to appease dweebs who have too much power. Right. I pass my driving course, too, because if not, I would ramp off this thing and for sure die. Maybe even hit, like, a public school on my way down. This be bad for everybody. Is this an elevator? You gotta be... Okay. Okay. It's the dweeb remark, isn't it? Here we go. Come on. What's at the top? Big lava? stuff a spot for a thing this is an anvil that's a pedestal is this gonna let me like forge some new crazy item probably need to melt that key that i found earlier first that's the thing about elevators you don't need them going down you can just do a sick ramp see all right time to just give this like an hour and then i'll be back well i got stopped a little bit short because my drill just completely broke but i was able to get a decent amount of more little things let's try and collect all of this stuff up and hopefully there's just enough money in this random bucket to make a huge profit if not i'll start crying maybe even commit an illegal act i'll come back for you forge key just wait shopkeep my good man what are we looking at Thirty-eight hundred thousand coins nope. give me that oh whoops i forgot you don't buy shards i think that's enough for me to actually do a decent amount of rebuilding of this city over here. Hey buddy, I've got 4,000 coins. Dump them in there. I can buy the jeweler construction crate, tier one store construction crate, and the ticket office construction crate for 580. I don't know if there's going to be something else to all this, but I'm along for the ride to find out. No, my construction crate. It's fine. Now, I want to make this one the jeweler because it's the closest to the way that I come in. Oh, what is this? Oh, I need to bring 50 iron bars and 40 hardstone blocks before this jeweler can even be created. I see we can keep going then we'll make this one the ticket booth ticket booth there we go that's a lot more expensive oh i don't think i was supposed to be able to do that but for 200 coins i can buy a ticket that's something to keep in mind and then i'll just plop the tier one store down right here and maybe this time don't cheat and hit the button is this a giant crystal oh that's sick it's not gonna blow up Right? All right, though, it looks like I need a lot of iron bars and hardstone blocks, meaning I need this hardstone refiner for sure. Probably also want to pick up a pallet. Hardstone refiner, gonna need some more pipe. I could use a couple hand sorters. I don't know how this is in here right now, but I'll take it. Almost forgot a tool bag. All right, I've got the coin, but this is gonna have to just work for now. I don't have any dang room in my truck to take all that. Honey, I'm home. Get fixed. Oh, wait, I'm just supposed to give the museum guy this note back? Whoops. I can go do that real quick while I let that sort itself out for a moment. Hey, buddy, here's your stupid quest done. Give me the coins. Oh, I also can't forget one of the most important parts of this whole thing. Funnels are king. How much money do I have left? 965? Really? You don't say. Operation Rebuild the Town is officially a go. Let me turn this drill off because I'm pretty much about to move like everything. What you just got to trust me on this. I managed to get it decently hooked up, I think. Turn both of these on. It looks like stuff does shoot out. Oh, I rotated these the wrong way. You know what? The hand sorters are fine for now. Oh, I'm realizing that the lava dripping is like making tiny little holes in the earth. Interesting. All right, well, give me one moment while I rework this entire hand sorting system so we can get some automation going so i just realized that i forgot to start recording again Bruh. basically i ended up filtering out enough hardstone blocks and hooked the system up to now we're able to fully purchase our tier one store what does this do wait lava drill masterwork design lava harvester a smelter i can buy the ice pick and there's a rake but why can i get the designs oh and this has like a one star speed bonus to it yeah 
that's a nice little decision. All right, well, let me take my coins that I had left over from over there, and I can buy myself this ice pick. Thank you. And the rake. That seems good, too. Oh, no, my drill broke. Fix. Fix. And then how effective is this? Punch. Ooh, that could be better. And looks like I just found the bottom. This really isn't that deep. Oh, I have so many ores just stuck in there. In this new DLC, the mods haven't been updated yet. So we're back to doing this whole cave clearing thing the old fashioned way. Good old nonstop huh? ice pick and the rake. I found the system that works best is if you like Minecraft strip mine. Usually you can get the game to figure out what you're going for pretty easily. Here we go. I've got myself a nice little cubic room. Only thing is no way a drill fits in here. Gotta clear some ceiling space. It ain't much, but it's honest work. Here we go. Much taller cube this time. Oh, perfect. And it does fit in here just fine. Time to see if I can manage to hook this up down there. All right, I can hopefully drop this shard in there. I forgot to place my pipe back there. Both of these do need fixed too. My shovel down. And now I think I still need to go buy a repair kit. Oh, let me go snag one of them real quick. Give me that. Let's get you repaired, get you repaired. And this thing is shooting out chunks. Let me grab one of these basic ores here. What's the weight from the very tippy top? 0.52 and all the way at the bottom, it's four times more. I think we're set to build those new shops in no time. For now though, I think this is gonna do it for me. Huge, huge thank you to Max and the team over at Hydroneer for letting me come in and play this early. And if you're curious about the game itself, I hit a Hydroneer Steam code in the video somewhere. Best of luck finding it, see ya.